Hi, I'm Miss Katie, and today we'll be doing an abstract watercolor project. Let's make some art. Okay, so for our project today, we're going to need some watercolor paints, some water, a brush, and some things to draw with. You can use pencils, colored pencils, a regular pen, any special materials you have. I have a special pen right here. You can use markers. You can even use crayons. Now, if you don't have access to watercolors, I have my artist watercolors here. You can get a Crayola tray if you have that. Um, but if you don't have any watercolors, there are plenty of recipes online that you can make your own watercolors with baking soda and food coloring, or you can use your markers. You can color with our markers like this. See, this is kind of a dried out marker. And then we can add a little water on top to kind of turn them into watercolors. Oh, that looks pretty neat. All right, so we're gonna be making some different color lines just like this today. And then we're gonna be putting some patterns and designs inside them. So when I'm using my watercolors, I wanna make sure I have, my brush isn't dripping wet, so I can kinda of just dry it off a little bit on the side of my cup there. And I'm just gonna swirl around in my paint. I kinda of wanna make it nice and dark. Swirl and swirl and swirl. And then once I have my dark color, I'm gonna put it in one of these empty wells that I have here. So if you have like a, a plastic plate or something at home that you can use, um, that would be good for mixing on because that's how we're going to mix our colors. So I'll add some color here. All right, now let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty dark. Very nice. So now if I want it to be lighter, I'm going to add some more water. So I'm going to kind of move some of my paint over here, add some water. Now you'll notice it got a lot lighter over here and it's a lot more saturated over here. Now, this is the fun part. We're gonna add, we're gonna mix our colors on our paper. So my paper here is really pretty wet. I'm gonna kind of stick some of this red in here. Let's see what happens. That's pretty fun. Squeeze my brush out and dry it off. If it's dry, it'll sort of suck up some of the water too. And that gives it a very different effect there. So for the first step of our project, we're gonna make some different colored lines here. So I want my lines to be pretty wet so that the colors mix pretty well. There we go green in there. I'm not worried what about straight lines. This is just fun and relaxing and we're having fun mixing colors. Oh, that looks neat. remember all the colors you really need I have a lot of colors here but all the colors you really need are red yellow and blue so with those colors you can mix any other color those are the primary colors oh there we go that's pretty cool looking okay. maybe I want to make wiggle wiggly squiggly line. Now I'm using a watercolor paper, which is a much thicker paper than um, like a printer paper or even a sketchbook paper. But you can do this on any, any kind of paper that you can get your hands on. All the papers are gonna take paint differently. Um, but you can try out all different sorts of paper. Scrap paper that you have laying around. You can try this on a paper bag here, which would be, I thought would be an interesting experiment to see how that took the color. Very different. Let's see. 
So really you can use any kind of paper. Some papers are going to, it's gonna look nicer than others, but it's really a process of experimenting because artists are always experimenting and they're always trying new things and they're always finding out what works and what doesn't and what they like and what they don't. So I'm gonna keep going on my watercolor paper. finish this up and now we're going to wait for our paper to dry for our next step okay so now I have uh, my dry paints my dry picture we're gonna go back in with our pens pencils colored pencils whatever we have we're gonna start to add some patterns and this is where it gets really fun and interesting so some of the kinds of things we can add are polka dots and we have different sizes of dots we can do too, right? So we have big dots, small dots, medium dots, have my crazy dots here. And I'm going to kind of vary the different things that I do. So now maybe I want to put some dotted lines here. can try some horizontal, nope, sorry, vertical lines. Kind of going down. I'm gonna go back to maybe my dots again. Maybe these dots are a little less orderly. Kind of crazy. Okay, so the important thing here is to have fun and to try out lots of different combinations of lines and dots and shapes. And that way you can create tons of different patterns. And the patterns are what makes this really interesting. And then when you're all done, don't worry about what it looks like. Just know that you had fun doing it. It's really about the process and not the final product. I hope you guys have fun doing this project and have a great day.